Namaste Collective. Thank you for coming to my channel, Dado Dao. I just updated also uh, in the description where you can find me on Instagram, and that is Lama Jama point zero point zero. So I've been constantly receiving downloads. I believe this is a huge portal that is going to happen on 12 12. December 12th and the word of today I pulled the I Ching cards the visionary I Ching cards um, oracle and the word of today is patience Patience. Oof. More patience. Just a moment. Sorry about this. Ads. Perfect. So today, the word of the day is patience, and I will show you again. Sorry about that distraction. Is the number five, which it has different meanings, but I associated it this time with change. I know we're all in in this transformation. Okay. And it says, water above, sky below. It has given me a lot of crown and throat chakra activations. And it's also giving me heart chakra. So... It's a balancing activation of the crown, your ethereal self, your higher self, with your throat chakra and your heart. So you're speaking from your heart, the messages from the divine. Okay. So it's very important. The word of the day is patience. Um, the Aishin has six changing lines or situations that I already study here in the guidebook and I am just going to read them to you. Oh, first of all, I want to, due to that, that distraction, clear the energy a little bit with a Tibetan bowl sound. It says, it's giving like a, when you go fishing, this is the oracle, an example. And it says, your catch will come in its own good time. And focus in the word good. You cannot make it come sooner. Not by working, or by planning, or by wishing. Thought you may have a need to provide nourishment, it is only through patience that you can become the bridge. Strength in a time of trials waits 
quietly, resolutely. The situation calls, your situation, our situation, calls for consistency and perseverance. Waiting is an essential skill to master. Patience is a powerful force. This strength through developing the skill of patience will allow you to be uncompromisingly honest with yourself while sticking to the path you have charted, you have designed before you came here to earth or while you were here. If you persevere with a positive attitude, time weakens even the hardest obstacle. To rush anything or force results stimulates resistance, and we don't want more, and causes setbacks. I think it's easier to deal with outside resistance than their own resistance that uh, we have uh, fed in our egos. So be careful with that. What is steadfast waiting? It is holding your integrity, holding your integrity. This leads to slow but permanent improvements. In the end, you accomplish something great. Be content to practice patience. That is a great message. In the changing lines, or I always like to call it six different perspectives, starting from line one, which is from the bottom up. This is the right here. So let's start from the bottom up. These are the changing lines in the I Ching vision, the visionary I Ching cards. Line number one at the bottom. Troubling events may be looming, causing some apprehension. Do not try to alert the path that has been set for you at this time. Rest assured that you are heading in the right direction. And if you're seeing this video, you are heading in the right direction. Let go of anxious thinking, meditate, Remain open, alert, and prepared. And prepared in what? If it's focusing on worries and anxiety, <laughs> and keep your dog healthy. <laughs> I'm sorry about this interruptions. Let's change this. Yep. There's a reason for everything, so keep your dogs, cats, animals very healthy. You understand now who they are. So, prepared emotionally. Not knowing or avoiding how are you going to feel, but what are you going to do with those feelings that arise? How are you going to welcome them, accept them, and release them? as we spoke yesterday, because it's all about letting go. The line two, another perspective. Strife can easily develop now. You may have to tolerate gossip, 
But in the end, if you remain calm and magnanimous, magnanimous, trusting in who you are in the kingdom of God, you will come out well. Things will resolve themselves. Don't we know still that we have guides, angels, a higher self, a God, a Lord protecting us? This is why it's important to separate your ego from who you are in source. Every day, every day. Avoid being sucked into conflict. Don't give your opinion. People are going to force you to give their, their opinion. Just remain neutral. Laugh. I really can't uh, give you an opinion about this. That is establishing your boundaries. But in the line three, another perspective. If you feel stuck, as in the mud, and your enemies, sometimes enemies we think about out outsiders. No, enemies within you, your temptations of wanting to speak back, give, give any type of non-constructive feedback, even if it's to validate your opinion, is it constructive for the other person? That is your enemy, your own reactions. Avoid reaction. So how are you going to deal with the, those enemies? Avoiding your reaction, knowing how to learn to remain neutral is the key. Because once you react and give feedback about a situation that uh, does not build anything positive, even though it is to validate your opinion, if it doesn't benefit yourself and others, and others, never separate yourself, then those you're encouraging uh, that battle, that battle of the mind, that battle of interdependence, and no. So remember that you are now, while you remain in patience, you're going to get the attention of people. Because this world now is not used to patience. So you are in an exposed position. Be cautious and considerate in relationships and be on guard, be alert. Again, be cautious and considerate in relationships. Um, something I learned from my Lama my llama is a Hispanic European llama. His name is Lama Rinshen Yeltsin. And uh, it's in Spanish, his courses, and it's located in Alicante, Spain. And the center, the Buddhist center, is called Paramita. He, I learned from him that sometimes the best thing you can do is let others win. Why it benefits sometimes to let others win is because it expands your perspective and feeds your non-duality. Non-duality. Be alert to shifting alliances. Just observe. Be alert. Okay. These alliances can be an ally to you in some situations and cannot be in others. 
Such awareness can prevent harm, harm to yourself and others. The line four, another perspective, you may be isolated and in a vulnerable position, only you know. Although escape is essential, the only way out is to retain your composure and practice patience. Very, very important. At this moment, in this perspective that we're, we're I'm, I'm talking about right now, there is no, no such great chance for success. So survival, the healthy survival is your immediate concern. New opportunities will come from the sacrifices you are willing to make in that sacrifice. It's just to maintain your composure. Just that and remaining neutral and maintaining your heart and your mind clean of egocentric tendencies. If necessary, keep out of sight in order to avoid direct confrontation. I heard from a tarot reader, a great tarot reader, um, Mystic Tori Tarot. Um, she always says, remember, rejection is protection. Analyze that rejection is protection. It means that you're not aligned in that frequency. Shift your perspective towards the highest good for yourself in spiritual development. Don't take it personal. So the fifth perspective of the I Ching is in the midst of difficult situations, there's there often comes a temporary pause. There is a moment that you're like, you know what? I need to just get out and, and have some fun. Uh, I just have to distract my mind. That is important. Use this interval to fortify your position, not by continuing to dwell on the swirl of events around you, but by taking a moment of relaxation and distraction. Recharge your batteries by having fun rather than further draining them with worries. If you are in a leadership position in your home, in your job, in your community, in your life, allow the people that collaborate with you a time to play and take a break from you or with you. This will increase, increase pleasure feeling of satisfaction the last line line number six at the top you may be falling into an abyss another perspective is a time of difficulty when all your plans are overturned it's best to yield gracefully Focus on the grace and not on the lack or the loss. You're still alive though, right? Remain cautious and alert. Help will be arriving from an unknown corner. If you maintain this attitude that we're speaking about, keep an open mind always. Get out of your egocentrism. Learn from the lessons in this situation. Sorry about that. <laughs> Look at this. No, no, no coincidence. No coincidence. And this is incredible. 
So keep an open mind. Learn from the lessons in this situation. There's always a lesson to learn. Remember, everybody around you is a mirror of who you want to be or who you don't want to be anymore. Okay? If a remedy does not soon present, it, it present itself, remember every trial that you survive builds you stronger. Good fortune awaits you because you are on this stage, the stage of patience. I hope this message finds you well today. And please, if you like this message, subscribe and press like. Also, you're welcome to leave me a comment of constructive positivism and in a Sangha vibe, a community. A community that whoever reads those comments can benefit from what the comment that you um, co-created here in this channel. I wish you guys a lovely day. I hope to come here again soon, probably during the night. And it's a day of activation, so I'm sure I'm going to have more activations today to share with you. So stay tuned. Subscribe to all notifications so that you can get these messages immediately because I know you need them. Namaste.